Regardless of where a new scientific idea originates, whether it's at DARPA, the NSA, a national laboratory, MIT, or another academic institution, the development of ideas that are embraced by the Department of Defense will follow a similar protocol. First, the project has to appeal strongly enough to one of the three branches of the military that they're willing to ask the DoD for funding to develop it. Second, if the DoD approves funding, it'll generally be just enough to keep the project afloat for one year or until certain milestones are achieved, at which point additional funding could be authorized. Third, an idea that's developing successfully will at some point have to move from a computer or a laboratory to one of the military's secret test bases for testing in real-world conditions. For instance, new unmanned aerial vehicle technology is tested at Creech Air Force Base in Nevada. Hypersonic weapon research is being carried out at China Lake Naval Air Weapons Station. Space launch systems are tested at Cape Canaveral and at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Experimental aircraft are tested at Edwards Air Force Base. And high energy research is carried out by Sandia National Labs at the Tonopah Test Range, also called Area 52. The massive target is accelerated down the track into the test unit. But at America's most secret military test range, Area 51, the public's kept completely in the dark. A short flight from Las Vegas, deep in the Nevada desert, lies the top secret military base called Area 51. While we don't know which programs are based at Area 51, we do know that the DOD has funded some really incredible projects this year that will be developed at military test bases that include Area 51. Projects like robots and robotic combat vehicles, trustworthy artificial intelligence. So the first of these, Machine Common Sense, is about helping us build robotic systems that we could be able to deploy in the field to help soldiers, for example, carry loads. A sixth generation interceptor aircraft. High energy weapons, including laser and microwave and the consideration of several types of hypersonic attack cruise missiles. The advances we are making with hypersonic missile designs are pushing the limits of possible. Scramjet propulsion technology is one of the leading areas these advances are taking place, ushering in a new era for faster, more survivable, highly capable hypersonic weapons. Scramjet engines are designed to utilize the high speed of the vehicle that forcefully compresses the incoming airflow prior to combustion. This design enables sustained flight at hypersonic speeds of Mach 5 or even greater. 